A big milestone happened in the construction of Tulsa's new Gilcrease Museum. Tulsa city leaders celebrated the topping out of the building today, which means they are halfway through construction. News on 6's Emery Bryan has the story. Tulsa City Councilor signed panels that will go inside the new building, but it's city leaders of the past and voters too who made construction of this new building possible. This generation of Tulsans is grateful for the heritage that we have been given by those who came before us, and we want to honor it by preserving it and taking care of it and making it more accessible and more available to those who come after us. The new Gilcrease now rises over the Osage Hills, 35 feet taller than the old building, and will have scenic views in all directions. Workers are waterproofing the building at ground level and still building walls on the upper floors. Patrick Gallagher leads the team designing the exhibits. This is a collection that is embedded in the history of, the, of this nation and the people that settled this nation. And we want to be able to tell that story here. The construction was hampered by labor shortages and COVID and by supply chain problems, all of which increased the cost. Private funding is still being raised with a second taxpayer infusion on the ballot in two weeks to complete the estimated $139 million project. City leaders say they're confident the finished product will be worth it. And the stories that this museum can tell are unlike practically any other in the United States. So, and this belongs to Tulsa, so I think we'll all be very excited and proud. The building will be done late next year, but it will take more than a year for it to air out and for the artwork to be installed before a 2026 opening. In Tulsa, Emory Bryant, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.